You've two players um, coming in today. How happy are you with your, your signings? The two players I've, uh, I've worked with before, I'm delighted. Um, you know, if you've worked with players before and you, you're keen to, to make them part of what you're doing, um, you know, it, it speaks volumes for what I think of them and Mickey. Um, so yeah, I'm delighted we've got them over the line. Obviously, it's been a tough, it's been a tough uh, ten days. You know, awful day on Monday last week, having to um, explain to players who had done really well for me uh, that we're going to go a different direction this year. But you know, once once uh, we'd got through that process, it was all about rebuilding. And you know, this is the start. And and uh, you know, two two defenders um, who. Have worked with me before. Um, Robbie, uh, he's, um, he's got great experience considering he's only 24. You know, he's had a really good upbringing at Middlesbrough's academy, which is a you know, fantastic academy anyway. But uh, loads of experience in the league above. Uh, he was my captain uh, at times at, at Gateshead, um, along with Scotty, who was the other captain. And um, he played a number of positions as well. Uh, I like him. Uh, as a sweeper, I like him as the middle of a of a three. He had some fantastic games for me there. Real leader, real good reader of the game, um, mobile. But he's also a very very accomplished wing back. So um, yeah, delighted to get Robbie over the line. Yeah, and you just mentioned both of them used to be captains for you at Gateshead. Is it about bringing sort of leaders into this this squad? Is that what you're trying to do? Yeah, I mean we, we we're looking at um, we're looking at lads who can you know can kick on as well. You know we're looking at building a. You know, I don't want to be. You don't want to be releasing sort of a dozen players every year. This is a what I'm trying to do this time is put a squad together that can not only challenge to win this league, but um, I know can compete higher. So um, you know that's that's the aim. Uh, if you look at what Simon's just done at Harrogate, you know that squad's been together for three, four, five years in the making, and they've achieved the goal. Um, I don't want it to take that long, but uh, but I want to put a squad together that we can build on going forward. Uh, Robbie's a good age, you know, he's 24 years old. There'll be a few uh, players coming in, players I'm speaking to, you know, all around mid 20s. You should be physically in the in the peak, uh, but all with uh, experience. Yeah, Scotty Barrow coming in. Is he going to be a left-sided player? What's his best position? Scotty's a very good wing back. So uh, obviously, the the minute we realised uh, David was going to move and go elsewhere, um, he was absolutely first first on my list. Um, he's um, he carries a real threat. He's a bit like Newt, you know, for a, for a left side to centre half. Newt is still a goal threat, so um, I want to I want to fill my team with as many goal threats as possible. You know, we, uh, as I said in, in earlier interviews, we didn't score enough goals from from everywhere around the pitch last year, uh, and that's ultimately where we where we struggled. You know, we were only sort of seventh or eighth or something like that, uh, scoring goals. So I want to fill the team with as many goal threats as possible. And, and Scotty scored some fantastic goals for me at Gateshead. So. Um, He's 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 big. He's he's quick. Uh, he's powerful, uh, and as I say, he's got a really good left foot as well. So um, Newt might have a, a little bit of challenge on his hand for the sweetest left foot of the club, but uh, it's all good. And uh, obviously, you've um, you've been looking at players throughout this process. Have you got a load of players lined up now? I know you touched on it just earlier. Yeah, I mean, obviously we have to, but I think it's important. It happened last summer. You know, we were patient last summer. Um, things don't happen in the first week. Players have got other options. Uh, and new players are coming to us all the time. Um, players that you know maybe maybe a year ago we, we might not have thought we'd have a chance with. But um, you bring players to have a look around the training ground and have a look around the city and certainly show them the new stadium and they can't help but be impressed with uh, what what we're we're looking to achieve here. So um, yeah, we're hopeful. We're hopeful that by probably early next week we might be able to announce two or three more. Yeah, how big of a pull is it? So get these players and obviously you said about the new stadium and stuff is that a real big factor for players coming here and joining the club it is but you know footballers want to be successful as well so they have to believe and they have to buy into what we're trying to do on the pitch uh, the way we're going to play the, the, you know, the, the slightly different sort of uh, pace and tempo to the, to the game that we're, we're looking to achieve this year. So, um, uh, you know, the first thought of you know, any good footballer is what you know what they, what they do on the pitch. It's about how you play football, um, and then obviously the the money's got to be right, and then the the the, the facilities and everything all 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 a bonus on top. But I think first and foremost, I want players that you know want to want to be successful on the pitch, want to be ambitious. I need a I need a hungry squad.